Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on fractions, decimals and percentages. So in this video we're just going to go through some exam style questions. So we've got a few examples here. We'll start with this one, example 1a, write 37% as a decimal. So to go from a percentage to a decimal we have to divide by 100. Uh, so we've got 37 divided by 100 uh, which is equal to 0 0.37. So that's easy enough. And then part B, write 0 0.548 as a percentage. Uh, well to go from a decimal uh, from a percentage to a decimal we divide by 100 so to go the other way we must have to times by 100 so 0 0.548 times 100 is 54.8 percent so that's simple enough uh, let's move on to the second question so example two uh, we've got fractions to decimals this time so we have to write 12 over 25 as a decimal for part a so 12 over 25 is equal to 12 divided by 25 so we treat the line in a fraction as a division symbol uh, so we're going to use the bus stop method here since this is a non-calculated topic so uh, let's set up the bus stop method we've got 25 into 12 let's add some zeros in uh, so first of all how many times does 25 go into 1 and uh, the answer is 0 so we carry the 1 forward and then again we've got how many times does 25 go into 12 this time uh, and again the answer is 0 so uh, we put a 0 here and carry the 12 let's put our decimal point in so now we have how many times does 25 go into 120 the answer is 4 uh, and then we're left with 20 as a remainder so 4 times 25 is 100 so 120 minus 100 is 20 so that's why we have a remainder of 20 and then finally we have how many times does 25 go into 200 and the answer is 8 and there's no remainder so our answer is 0 0.48 so moving on to part B then, and we have to write 11 over 8 as a decimal. So 11 over 8 is equal to 11 divided by 8. So again we're going to use the bus stop method here. So we've got 8 into 11. Let's put some zeros in. So first of all, how many times does 8 go into 1? The answer is 0, uh, so we'll carry the 1. Then we have 11 here, so how many times does 8 go into 11? Uh, the answer is once, and we get a remainder of 3. Uh, so how many times does 8 go into 30 this time? The answer is uh, 3 times. So I'll put my decimal point back in. So 3 times 8 is 24. That gives us a remainder of 6. So how many times does 8 go into 60 now? Uh, the answer is 7. So 7 times 8 is 56. So we put 7 here. Uh, so 60 minus 56 is 4. So we have a remainder of 4. Let's put some more zeros in. Uh, so that, now we have how many times does 8 go into 40? And the answer is 5. Uh, we don't have any remainder here. So 11 divided by 8 is equal to 1.375. If you're feeling good on this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. So here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. So there's a variety of different question types as well, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of where your weaknesses are and where you can improve. So if you're feeling confident and ready to take the test, then click the link below.